the submission process. Looking at the big picture, this is the third step in the process of publishing your app. You start the process of submission by navigating to the Revit store and clicking the Exchange Apps Developers link. If you are looking for an overview of the app submission process, you will find it on the ADN open page under the Exchange Apps Developers page. I will now demonstrate the process of submitting your app to the Revit store. So let us now navigate to the Revit store. At the bottom you see the button Exchange Apps Developers. Click on it and enter your login information. This takes you to the landing page for the publisher. At the bottom you see the button publish a new product. Click on it. This takes you to a welcome page, a publisher's welcome page where you have information on how to publish your app. Read through that and click continue. In the next page, you can select the language that your app supports. I choose English and click the button Continue. This takes you to a form that you need to fill in order to submit your app. Information like app name, short description, app description and so on. If you have questions about these pieces of information that you need to enter, you can refer to the app submission form required information word document that you'll find online. I described this document in the previous part of this presentation. You can take a look at it. It gives you detailed descriptions of each of these items. I will go ahead and use some of these example pieces here. So I'll call my file upgrader as my app name use the short description use the long description from the document these are just samples in order to save time I'll just reuse that information I say 1.0.0 is the initial version of my app and then the next piece of information is for me to actually upload my app the best way of uploading your app is as a zip file so I zipped up my bundle I will choose that zip file here is the bundle folder and here are the icons and screenshots of my app and here's the zip file for my bundle so I choose that zip file and I click the button open which uploads my bundle zip file. Next I choose the logo icon. Next I choose the screenshots that I'd like to upload. I have two screenshots so I will add both of them. Next I can enter the command information, my external command information let's say my command is called file upgrader and the description is click this button to upgrade your projects and I choose my icon that will appear on the ribbon tab I can give general instructions for my app so I can say
project files, click the button to upgrade your project files, installation and uninstallation instructions. Autodesk creates the installer for you so you can have a generic set of instructions like download the installer from the store and use it to install and in uninstall. If you choose you can give more detailed description of the installation and uninstallation process. You can also give any additional special information about your app, known issues about your app and the author information. In this case I'll just enter it as Autodesk and click the button continue. This takes me to the second page of the form where I need to enter more information. So I'll go ahead and enter that. So that's the company name, company URL. In this, in this case I entered Autodesk as the company name and the Autodesk URL as the company URL. You obviously have to enter your own uh, company information there. Uh, I'll use the publisher's support email ID as the support ID. It is important that you provide accurate information here so that users of your app can contact you in case they need some support. The next piece of information is whether you want your app to be a free app, a trial app or a paid app. You can choose that here. And the next piece is to select the product versions. Let's say Revit 2014 and the other flavors of Revit 2014. I select that. And then I select the categories for my app. Mine is a generic enough app, so I'll say architectural design, mechanical design, plumbing design, and structural design. I can choose up to four major categories, so I chose all four of them. And then I click continue. So we are almost done with the submission process. In this page you see all the information that you entered and you can click the preview button that shows you a preview of how your app would look like on the Revit store. So this is how my app would look like. I'm happy with it. I go back to the summary information and I click the button finish at the bottom to finish my submission process. Sometimes if your submission process takes a long time it asks you to log in again. Just go ahead and do that. So here it takes me to the page specific page for my uploaded product. You see my file upgrader and you can perform various actions to it like edit the submission, delete the submission, preview draft of the submission. At the top you see three buttons submit, delete this app, add a new language version of your app and so on. I go ahead and click the button called submit. And this essentially finishes the submission process. At the top you can see the message your app has been submitted for review. So this finishes the submission process.